You say I should journal every day, but I don't. You say if I write things down, then I'll know myself better. Hi, hello there. I'm getting my roots done today. Not my roots, I'm gonna dye my hair. I might just go black, match the top of my hair, so I don't have to dye my hair anymore. I'm really not about that bleaching and dyeing my hair every two months life anymore. So let's go. I'm going to Captain today. It's been a while. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can see it. 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 I 정수 today I am going to this cafe that lends books. I actually borrowed this book from them last time and I'm done with it so I'm trying to return it. This is my attempt at making protein banana bread with matcha protein. Got really ripe bananas. We're gonna need three. I'm gonna attempt to use this. I'm following my friend Chloe's recipe, but I don't have a lot of the ingredients like vanilla extract. Actually, that's the only thing I don't have. Maybe I shouldn't have used this because now it's just like, ugh, I don't know. Okay. And then I'm gonna add three scoops of protein powder. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all, so 
don't follow me. One tablespoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna put a little bit of sweetener. This is alulos, alulos, alulos. The protein powder is already pretty sweet, so I don't think I'm gonna need too much. Or is it brown? Looks like it's not fully cooked. Ew, it's so spongy inside. Why is it still wet? It's my first banana bread of fail. I think I put too much milk. Should I lower the temperature and cook it a little more? not bad but it's not good i'm gonna lower the temperature and cook it a bit more be right back attempt to save this okay i cooked it at 120 degrees celsius for like seven more minutes well it's a little better oh, it's still spongy i don't think baking it more is going to help i think it I just failed with the measurements too much liquid i was trying to make protein sponge cake. Duh. Maybe if I put it in the fridge and cool it overnight, it'll get better. I'm determined to try this again and succeed. Banana protein sponge cake. Okay. Bastier, secondhand Bottega Veneta. I'm looking like a pilgrim today. Um, I sold one of my Gucci bags on Bastier, so I got one of these. Pre loved, so the leather is super soft. I love it. I love the size. I love the length of the handle. It's perfect. It's very light. I love it. It's Sunday. And I'm going out to see Inside Out 2!
잘 만들었다. because usually I would need to dry my hair first and then either blow dry it or straighten it but this I can dry it and straighten it at the same time I was debating a lot whether or not to get this but I just thought it would save me time so I thought it would be a good investment and it has been it's made my morning so much easier so much quicker not an ad but just wanted to share if anyone has like pangkopsir hair like me like semi wavy hair then yeah this is perfect and i'm so satisfied after getting the root volume perm it was my first time getting it but before when i would just dry my hair and not do anything it would be flat like this but now there's some volume to it it's really hard to put volume in the roots like i've tried to learn from my hairstylists for so many years now and i just can't do it the way they do it so guys, I finished this book. That was surprisingly fast because books usually take me a while. So I wanted to talk about this book just in case you guys are curious. First, this is a murder slash mystery book, a genre that I usually wouldn't go for. I think it's the first time I'm reading mystery since like the Goosebumps series in elementary school. Those gave me nightmares. The good old scholastic days where I had to beg my mom to buy me Captain Underpants and Clifford the Big Red Dog Okay, let me try this again because I was having audio issues when I was trying to film yesterday so trying again today I'm gonna be stretching while explaining the book Well, I don't want to explain because that's gonna be boring I mean, the basic plot of the book is that there's a girl named Ellen and she has a brother named Isaac uh, an estranged brother but he invites her and her boyfriend Will to come to the new opening of his hotel in the Swiss Alps and the hotel used to be a sanatorium, a place they used to treat patients with tuberculosis, but it was actually not uh, just a hospital for tuberculosis. Surprise, surprise. It was like an evil asylum where they tortured and killed people, right? Tortured and 
k-worded people i don't know if i'm allowed to say killed uh, they get trapped in the hotel because there's a snowstorm there's an avalanche no one can leave and no one can come to rescue them so ellen she used to be a detective who is now taking some time off she tries to take the lead because she does have experience with crime solving i mean i don't really like anything about mental asylums or wards uh, because I feel like it's been so overdone but I did find myself like really into it I was super engaged I just wanted to know what happened next so I would like skip a few lines or like skim just because I wanted to know like okay just tell me what's happening who is the killer which I guess is a good sign but then at the same time I found myself so frustrated at, at the main character Ellen because she this girl clearly has not watched any scary movies it was so tap tap -tap. Like she would get a text from somebody who she thinks is the killer and they're like Hey, meet me at the suite by yourself at 9 p.m. And any normal person would not go by themselves, right? They would like take someone with them or make sure there's like someone that can come rescue them just in case something goes wrong. She just goes without taking any measures and then she's like, Oh, I see a black figure. Let me just follow it by myself. Just like are you dumb? Like I was trying to be understanding because you know she's had her own traumatic experience and she's also going through a lot but I don't know am I just not sympathetic? I was just like Ugh! She's the main character I'm supposed to like her I wanted to like her but I just couldn't and then the ending was Trash All that for this? Like it doesn't make sense they did uh, discover who the murderer was, but just didn't make sense. There was not enough motive. It didn't make sense that she would kill all those people just for that. So I was just like, you gotta be kidding me. I like the way it was written though. Like it was, it was easy to read. It was easy to follow along. Cause usually when there are too many characters, I get confused and I'm like, wait, who's that again? But with this book, I didn't have a problem like that. So that was good. Um, but everything else, the plot, uh, the characters, there was not one character that I was rooting for. Dang, I feel bad now. I'm only saying negative stuff. This must be what a critic feels like. <laughs> Dang, being a critic is hard. I need uh, book recommendations. If there's like a must read book, let me know. And I think this is also the end of the vlog, so I'm gonna say goodbye here. I hope you guys are doing well. Monsoon season started here in Korea, so it's been very gloomy, raining every single day. So I've been feeling a little down. And also just like super busy because I'm actually going to London next week. So I've been doing a lot of pre-recordings for radio and just trying to get organized and get prepared for my work trip. It's also my first time in London, so I'm excited. Let me know if you have any recommendations, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!